Hello everyone, welcome back, here is Van Amsen. Today uh, we are tackling a very interesting uh, problem popular on coding interviews. It's called word break problem from LeetCode. So this problem is a medium level question that's been asked by number of companies. So if you are preparing for a coding interview, you will find this uh, video uh, incredibly useful. So let's dive right in. Uh, in the word break problem, we are given a string S and a dictionary of string uh, word dig. And the task is to determine if S can be segmented into a space separated sequence of one or more uh, dictionary words. And the same word in the dictionary uh, may be reused multiple times in the segment. So let's go over examples. So we have an uh, example with uh, lit code uh, and uh, word dig lit and code. And uh, the output is true because we can uh, segment lit code as lit uh, space uh, code uh, and present uh, as and both lit and code are presented in the dictionary. Uh, if we have a second example, uh, it's apple pen apple and the word dict is just apple and pen, but we can uh, use all words from a dict. So uh, apple pen and uh, apple. Uh, and we are using apple twice. And the first example is uh, cats and dog. And as you can see, it's cats uh, and dog. And uh, we are given a word dig of cats, dog, sand, and cat. And the output is false because there is no way uh, to segment cats and dog such that uh, all segments are presented in our uh, dictionary. So. Now that we understand the problem, let's move to the uh, solution. So we are going to use a dynamic programming approach to solve this problem. And the idea is to use a Boolean array BP to uh, iteratively build up a solution that checks if the string can be segmented into a dictionary word. So uh, we are starting with a word break that takes parameter S and word dig and uh, in the code, uh, dp will represent uh, whether the string s up to index uh, i can be segmented into words from the dictionary. So it's a very important part. And initially, all elements in dp are set to false, uh, except for dp0, which is uh, true because an empty string can always be segmented. So let's implement it and will be len s dp will be false times n plus one and dp zero will be true and max len will be max map len word dict okay so we then uh, iterate over the string s uh, for each index we check if the substring ending at that index uh, and see if it's uh, in the dictionary. If it is, we update dp uh, i to true. So let's break uh, code down. So I will uh, uh, implement. So we start by uh, initializing the array uh, max len, uh, the maximum length of word in dictionary. And this help us to optimize the inner loop to uh, only consider a substring that could fit a word from the dictionary. So then for i in range range 1 to n plus 1 and for j in range i minus 1 max i max len minus 1 reverse and if dp j and s j i in our word dict dp i will be true and break and finally return dpn. Okay, so let's uh, break down the code. So our outer loop, so it's uh, this part, uh, for i in range uh, one uh, from one to n plus one, and this loop iterates over the length of the input string s uh, from one to n, uh, where n is the length of the string and each i represents the current length of substring uh, we are considering. So we start from one because we are 
uh, interested in the substring of at least one character. So uh, inner loop, so it is this one, uh, for j in range uh, i minus 1 max uh, i minus max len minus 1 minus 1 minus 1. So this loop it raises backward from uh, i minus 1 to maximum position where a word from the dictionary could start. So uh, the max mm, uh, max i minus max len minus 1 minus 1 part ensure that we only consider substring that are at most max len character uh, long. So where max len is the length of the longest word in our uh, dictionary we calculated previously. So then we have a condition and condition if dpj and sji uh, in word dict. So inside uh, the inner loop we check if the substrings from j to i exclusively exist in dictionary. So S J I in word D and uh, if the string up to the index J can be segmented. So uh, D P J. Uh, so if both conditions are true, it means uh, that uh, the string up to index I can be segmented. So we set D P I to uh, true and break statement. Uh, so break statement is just uh, once we find a valid segment for the current length i, we break out of the inner uh, loop, uh, where no need to continue checking uh, order substring for this uh, i because we already know the answer. And so, and yeah, finally we return a dp. Okay, so let's illustrate with an example. Suppose uh, s is lit code and uh, word dict is lit and code and now when uh, i is 4 uh, and j j is 0 and we considering a word lit uh, and it is in the word dict so if uh, dp zero is uh, true and signs both uh, are true uh, dp4 so dp4 is set to uh, true so uh, we have i so you can see that we have uh, here the statement so i so dp4 is set to true because dpj so uh, it's here is j uh, it's zero and our uh, current uh, s is from zero to four uh, and it's lit. And then uh, if we have, uh, for, for example, uh, i equals eight and we are considering a uh, word lit code, so it will be lit code. Uh, and j uh, is 4, then the condition checks code. So j will be 4 and uh, our code will be uh, s and here will be, yeah, so it's from 4 to 8. And uh, we check uh, if uh, this uh, code is in uh, our uh, word dict and if dp4 dp4 is also uh, true and because uh, our dp4 is true because we set it previously to true uh, and again since both are true because we have uh, this part this part in dictionary so cut in uh, is in dictionary so for 8 and dp Four is also true. Uh, we set dp8 dp8 to true, and finally uh, we check uh, dp n is returned uh, here, and uh, dp n in our case is 
8. So uh, we output true. So this is uh, how our code works. So yep, that's uh, all for uh, word uh, break problem. So let's run it and see and verify if it's working. So yeah, uh, all works. So we can uh, submit it for unseen test cases to verify. So yeah, uh, it's working and we beat 99.7% uh, with respect to runtime. So it's really efficient. Uh, yeah, a great problem to uh, get your head around uh, dynamic programming and uh, manipulation of string in Python. So I hope you found this uh, explanation helpful. And remember, coding is all about practicing. So keep coding uh, and you will ace your next interview. And don't forget to hit the like button if you learned something and subscribe for more coding problem solution and tutorial. And if you have any question or thoughts, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Happy coding. See you next time.